This website has uncovered a torrent of politically charged social media posts about the Conservatives, Brexit, Donald Trump, trans issues and climate change, most of them from high-ranking Monzo employees. This comes as it has emerged that Chancellor Jeremy Hunt was refused an account with the bank, which has around 7 million UK customers. It was also reported that staff had referred to the Tories as evil and ugly via internal messages seen by The Telegraph and that Sir Jacob Rees-Mogg could do the human race a favour by leaving politics. Prior to the tweet in July 2022, head of customer experience at Monzo, Harry Ashbridge, posted to Twitter, if Russians want to get into the UK no questions asked, they just need to donate to the Tory party. In July 2021, Mr. Ashbridge wrote online, always baffled by the people who insist Boris is some kind of 4D genius. We like to think the people in power are somehow Machiavellian but he's just a ruthless idiot and it's a system of privilege and corruption that props him up. Meanwhile, the former vice president of marketing at Monzo, Sarah Conrad, who left the company this month and describes herself as an activist on Twitter, shared a social media post in August 2017 referring to the 45th president, alongside an image strongly reminiscent of a swastika. Donald Trump was the 45th president of the United States. In June 2017, Ms. Conrad retweeted an article claiming that an anti-Trump bar was being opened in East London. In January of that year the marketing guru once again took to social media to attack the then-president, writing simply, golden showers for real Donald Trump. How, on brand. Miss Conrad also appeared to be promoting Brecht tea t shirts four days after the UK's vote to leave the European Union. The tweet was accompanied by a picture of the t shirts that she appeared to be promoting, which showed a grey top with the word Brex next to an emoji of human feces. In November of the same year, Miss Conrad retweeted a speech by then Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, in which he said, the fake anti-elitism of rich, white men like Farage and Trump is farcical, but in reality, it's no joke at all. At the time the tweets by Miss Conrad were written or shared, she was not a member of staff at Monzo but at tech giant YouTube. Adding to the pile of senior Monzo staff taking aim at the UK's governing party is the company's director of US operations, Thomas George. In July 2018, Mr. George shared an online post calling on Prime Minister Theresa May to resign, to avoid having to manage Britain's exit from the EU and having dinner with Donald Trump. It said, if I was Theresa May I'd just quit today. Brexit is a bad show and that way you'll get out of dinner with the American idiot. A year earlier, in May 2017, Mr. George retweeted an official post from Monzo's Twitter account which said, we can't blame you handsome lot from taking pictures, just make sure they're of the right things, above a gif of Barack Obama. Mr. George said of the post, does your bank send you Barack Obama gifts? Thought not. The actions of the Tory party and Donald Trump were not the only hot-button political issues exercising Monzo staff, climate change was another subject of concern for a senior employee of the bank. On June 6, 2021, the chief of staff to the CEO of Monzo, Vivav Battler, reposted a Guardian article from the teenage eco-fanatic Greta Thunberg, in which he quoted her as saying, climate change will overwhelm every issue. According to his LinkedIn profile, Mr. Battler started at Monzo two months after retweeting the Swedish climate activist. As recently as February of this year, an engineering manager at the Challenger Bank by the name of Chris Socher, shared a tweet lambasting Home Secretary Suella Braverman's stance on migrant boat crossings and cheekily calling her a political refugee. 